form affinity. Where design takes form. Hey guys, welcome to another Form Affinity video. We are on version 3.1 of the Maya config add-on. Um, if you want to grab that, it is that Maya config v3 underscore one uh, zip. So I just uploaded that um, and it works with version 2.80.57 of the um, Blender build. So Let's go over some of its features. Um, first thing, a couple things I, th I think I forgot to mention about the last update, which is also in this update. Um, I made a video about this, the, the drag uh, deselect. So that's included in this config. Um, so let's say you have uh, some faces selected and you have your, you know, your move tool or your rotate or your scale. Um, you can drag and deselect or click and deselect in any of those modifiers. Um, whereas before, if you would be on, you know, your face or vert or whatever, it would, um, it would actually transform even when you're, you're dragging out here. So that's pretty cool. Um, the other thing is uh, add to selection. Let me just turn this off real quick. Um, so just like in Maya, that's your shift and arrow keys. So I can add to with the right arrow key holding down shift or minus with the left pointing arrow key while also holding down shift. Uh, one other change is I ended up getting rid of the hover over menus. Um, so if you want that back under preferences, interface, uh, under the menu section, that's mouse, open on mouse over. So that's that feature. Um, I kind of liked it in here, but once you got into like the materials and stuff, it, it kind of gets a little cumbersome. So um, that may change, we'll see, but in this version of the config that's uh, turned off. So the other thing, all right, so When in edit mode, um, you may be used to, you know, deleting faces, you get this pop-up menu and you have to select, okay, I'm in uh, edit mode. I want to select and delete the face that I just had selected. Okay, now I want to do, you know, let's say you got a bunch of these guys. Um, I want to delete those. Okay, yes, I still want to delete faces, right? Um, that can be a little cumbersome if you're doing a lot of deletions. Um, so I basically gotten rid of it um, with the X key uh, in the config. So when you hit X, it just deletes whatever's uh, selected. So it's context sensitive. If you have an edge selected, you hit X, it deletes it. And the cool thing is, um, if you want that menu, uh, if you do want to see that menu, instead of hitting X, you can just hit delete and it comes up and you get all that, that information is still there. You can uh, dissolve, etc. cetera. Um, we have dissolve as a, as a hotkey which is control X. Um, so I don't really know why you need that menu, but um, anyways, the option is now there with this config to just hit X when you're going through and deleting stuff and you don't have to see it every time. 
So I really like that. Um, I hope you guys do too. And let's see, that is something with this guy here. Um, that is this uh, script, delete without confirm. Um, thank you to way too close for helping me with that. Um, and also within that, uh, the new config folder is a logo badge. So this is pretty cool. Um, this sh will be seen on all the videos now that are for, you know, on YouTube that are for the config. Um, and then you're also free to use this on your renders or as a decal, as a badge. Um, it comes with a JPEG version and a PNG, transparent PNG. So um, that's exciting news. The config now has a, a badge. So yeah, that's about it for this update. Um, I've got some uh, tutorials in the works, so I've been busy with that. Um, hoping to share uh, with you guys soon, and we will see you next time. Thanks a lot.